Hello people, welcome back. The question is from gate 2003 exam. This one is for two marks. They are saying the subnet mask for a particular network is 255.255.31.0. Which one of the following pairs of IP addresses could belong to this network? Okay. Step one, let's convert this network mask or subnet mask into binary notation. You'll notice that all the ones are not continuous. Okay. So this part plus this part together will indicate the network ID. And these three bits plus this octet will indicate the host ID. Okay. So ones are not continuous here. Network ID is not continuous. Is this possible? Theoretically speaking, this is possible, but we don't use such a subnet mask practically. Because these days we use CIDR, classless enter domain. CIDR says first n bits continuous could represent the network ID part. So this is not allowed. Moreover, we are using IPv6. So it can create problems with IPv6 also. So we avoid such network mask practically. Anyways, it was used long back. So they can ask such a question. Let's try to answer this. So option A is 172.57.88.62. This IP address is given to you. If you add any IP address with subnet mask, you will get to know the network ID to which this IP address belongs. So and this and this. What I'm trying to say is perform and of the given IP address comma the subnet mask. And let us find what will be the network ID of the network to which this IP belongs. So all eight bits are ones. When you add it with 172, you are going to get 172 only. Okay. So it will be 172.57. And then we have 88.62. 88 has to be ended with this. 62 has to be ended with the last octet. Okay. You'll get something dot some number okay and for this one if you try to find out the network id you will see it will be 172.56 dot something dot something okay we don't care what are these numbers the thing is this ip address belongs to a different network and this ip address belongs to a different network the network IDs are these, okay? They are different because here we have 57, here we have 56. That means this one could not be the answer. So option A is directly rejected because they're asking which one of the following pairs could belong to this network, okay? So they're talking about some particular network. Both of them don't even, uh, don't even belong to same network. So this one cannot be the answer. So option B is 10.35 and 10.35. Skip this one for now. Option C is 191.203 and 191.234. For similar reasons, you can reject option C also because this one will belong to some other network and this IP address will belong to some other network according to the given subnet mask. Okay, this point is important. We have all eight bits in the first octet one and all eight bits in the second octet one. This means this one and this one will be same in the network ID also because when you perform and of these two numbers 191 ended with 255 you are going to get 191 only. So the network ID will begin with 191.203 for this one and network ID will begin with 191.234 for this one. So both of them are in different network. Okay, now let us analyze option B. Just try to find the network ID for this IP address. So the given IP address is 10.35.28.2. 10.35.28.2. And Okay, perform and of both of these numbers. All ones 
ended with 10 will give you 10 only dot this one will also result in the same number which is 35 and all zeros ended with anything will be all zeros only so this is zero now let us convert 28 into binary form to find out end of this one and this one so 28 is 14 into 2 14 can be written as 3 times 1 followed by a 0. So 3 times 1 followed by a 0. This is 14 into 2 will be adding one more 0 to the right side. So this is how you can write 28. Okay. Now if you perform and you are going to get 0 and 0 is 0. Again 0, again 0. And last three bits will be copied as it is. Because here we have all ones in the last five bits. Okay, so these are five bits. They are copied as it is. So this number will be 28 only. So network ID for this IP address is 10.35.28.0. Okay. And now let us find what is network ID for this IP address. For this one, it will be 10.35. These, uh, these two octets will be as it is. 29, when converted to binary, will be this. Okay. And when you are going to perform and of both of these numbers, you are going to get this. So network ID for this IP address is 10.35.29.0. 10 10.35.29.0 because both of them belong to different network this one can also not be the answer so both of these networks are different option b is also rejected and only option d is left so this one will be the answer anyway still let's analyze option d also so you can see option d is 128.8.129.43 So if you perform and of given IP address comma the network mask you are going to get 128.8 dot all zeros followed by a 1 like this okay so you can see first three bits are zeros so first three bits will be zero in the result also okay and next five bits are ones so copy the next five bits as it is okay so this one is copied as it is so this is the network id and anyways last octet is zero so ignore this 43 and it will contain zero only so network id for this ip address is 128 dot 8 dot one dot zero now let us find what is network id for this ip address this ip address is 128.8.161 so here we need 161 so you can see 161 can be written as 128 plus 32 plus 1 so this will be 161 128 plus 33 yeah it will be 161 so now perform and of this number comma this number you are going to get three zeros followed by all zeros and a one so three zeros followed by all zeros and a one okay so you can see network id for this ip address is also the same Okay, this will be anyway zero. So here we have 55. All zeros ended with 55 will be zero only. Okay. Now, for first three options, the two IP addresses belong to different network. And only in option D, both of the given IP addresses belong to a same network. So for only option D, the given pair could belong to the specific network they are talking about because anyways these three don't even belong to the same network okay so there is a possibility that they might be talking about 
this network okay the word is could anyways you have seen that answer is option d thank you very much for watching this video okay